What's up guys, today we're going to be going over a part 2 follow up video to the Titan Stream build. I made a video already this season about this build. It is easy the best build in the game right now and one of the best builds of all time. And since making that video I've used this in basically every aspect of the game. Whether that be solo lost sectors, uh, speedrunning master campaign missions for materials, GM nightfalls, speedrunning master nightfalls doing raids, whatever it is. This build just excels so well in every single piece of content in the game. And since then, I've gotten better with it, learned a few tricks, and there's a new piece of tech that you can do with the build that just turns it up even further and really makes this build unmatched in almost every single way. And it's gonna be revolving around the grapple melee as we showed off in the first video with all the number DPS breakdowns. That the grapple melee is the thing that does the most damage in this entire build. I was doing the damage of the charge melee. Charge melee was 355k, but the grapple melee, once you add the numbers together, is 450k, but it's normally on a cooldown that you can only do once. And that is where this video will come into play with the navigator, mostly using the catalyst to create a grapple tangle point and allow us to spam the grapple as often as we want. So in this video, we'll be talking about how this works and the different ways you can use this and why it is so good. But before we get into all that good stuff, a quick word from today's video sponsor. This video was sponsored by Omni Heroes. Omni Heroes is a heroic fantasy casual strategy RPG and has received recommendations from both Google Play and Apple Store. As Omni Guardians, players are called upon to rescue the captive Valkyries from demons and fight together against evil threatening the world. Players can summon forth legendary heroes, unlock multiple synergies, and match hundreds of team comps at will. Right now, there is a new event, the Echoes of the Deep, set sail with Tide's Cadence. Prepare to embark on a chilling underwater adventure with a newly introduced event map. This map offers three challenging difficulty levels where you can get fantastic rewards including the coveted mermaid skin. By logging in continuously during the event, players can unlock glorious Valkyrie Marina for free. As the event unfolds, a formidable new boss is making waves. Rally your heroes and challenge this powerful adversary to reap the ultimate rewards. While playing, get ready for an unforgettable audio-visual experience. Omni Heroes has a new theme song, Closer to the Truth. Crafted in collaboration with Broadway's most esteemed producers and performers, promising to immerse players in the heart of its world like never before. So if you're ready to dive into a world of show and adventure, download Omni Heroes now. All participants in this new event can claim a free Valkyrie hero and unlock a stunning new skin. But that's not all, the Omni Hero 777 Summons event is still in full swing, ensuring that new players can also enjoy the exhilaration of 777 Summons. Thanks to Omni Heroes for sponsoring this video. So when using the navigator with the catalyst, all you have to do is hold reload to be able to shoot a grapple tangle point. And as long as you grapple or anyone grapples this once in a while, it will never despawn. And there is a 30 second cooldown on being able to create these grapple points, but you can easily overlap these as often as you need. And they'll always be there. And one thing to note about these grapple tangle points is once you grapple onto them, there's nearly zero wait time to be able to do the grapple melee. Unlike your base grapple, Usually there is a little delay before you can actually melee. So what you can do in this build with the navigator is create a tangle point. Then you want to one to punch the boss wherever it is, champion, and then grapple the grapple point and melee the boss. And you can do that over and over again as often as you want. And obviously you can combo this with the banner of war, being surrounded with simple steps, all the good stuff from the first video to take the damage up to quite a lot. One thing you're going to be missing is going to be a debuff if you're in a fire team setting. Obviously, someone else can be doing that for you. But if you're by yourself, what you could do is create the tangle point, swap over to tractor by either manually swapping or clicking a loadout. Make sure your shotgun is in a slot that had a special on before, or else you'll run out of ammo. And then you have the full combo on unlimited amount of times. So what this will look like for a boss fight, you still want to start off with your three charged melees because they're really good bursts. But after that, you just... Shotgun to proc one to punch, then you just grapple melee over and over again. And you can do this roughly like once every second, second and a half. It is pretty extreme. And I'm gonna go ahead and link some good examples of this being used in low man challenges down below if you want to check those out. But that is pretty much just the gist of it. And if you think about just like the pure damage output of this tech, when you're adding in the shotgun damage and the grapple melee damage, it's over half a million. As we mentioned, it takes like a second, maybe two seconds max to do this. So when we compare this to other forms of DPS in the game, let's say rockets, where rockets and other weapons are gonna be limited by ammo count. This is truly unlimited in terms of how many times you can do it. 
you are on a timer with the banner of war but you can start with 30 seconds which is more than enough for almost every boss phase in the entire game so even then that will never be an issue so in a phase let's say you have 10 rockets all of which do way less damage than a single grapple melee you can shoot off 10 then you're done while let's say in 30 seconds you can easily do like 15 to 20 maybe even like 25 of these grapple melees if you get good at it and your total damage output would be in the several millions if not like 10 plus million and this is even limited to one person one person could create the tangle point one person could run tractor and in theory an entire fire team could be doing this at the same time so yeah not like this build didn't have great boss damage before but now it's like even better and the thing about the navigator is it also enhances this build for Ackler, which is gonna be a lot of the gameplay you see in the background right now what you can do is in activities where you're gonna be in one area for a decent amount of time just create a good tangle point in the middle and then just use that to grapple over and over again and then you not only have the same boss damage you also have really good accuracy with this build by just grapple meleeing everything and those grapple melees do so much damage they can basically one hit champions even like 20 light under and just like the part one of this build this build is really good for champion gameplay between your charge melees and the infinite grapple melees you're going to generally be one hitting if not two hitting all the champions with just your melees even without the tractor cannon and with the build, you have Unraveling Rounds, which will make the Navigator break the barrier shields. You can put it on a machine gun for overload. Then you can always pop your super and suspend the targets for Unstoppable. So just like the Tractor Cannon version, it covers all three champions by yourself. And when you're doing stuff without champions, you can always throw on an Eager Edge Sword for movement. So really, when it comes down to it, the question is, is Tractor Cannon or Navigator better? Well, in Fireteam situations, you can always use both, but for solo play, I really gotta give it to navigator in most cases if you're in an activity we're gonna be in an area where you can take advantage of multiple grapples the navigator is just way better you're giving up 30 percent damage by losing tractor but if you can use the grapple more than once that is already double damage right so it definitely outscales the loss of tractor cannon in the long term and enhances the build for Aclear and really just everything so yeah, I think that's going to be it for the commentary. I'm not sure how much gameplay is left. At the end of the video, I will mouse over everything in the build. I will also link the build down below. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video. Once again, thanks to Omni Heroes for sponsoring the video. Like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.